Oh, this didn't work on. That doesn't work on dogs. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Happy Monday morning. Here we are again. I'm I'm afraid it's Monday morning. Hey, I I didn't make the rules. I don't control this. And I mean, trust me, I've tried. It's you know Sunday night, and I I shake my fists at the heavens and say it shall not be Monday. And I wake up in the morning, and it's Monday. It's just the gods do not listen to me. I don't know why. Also, you know, I have to. <laughs> It was so funny because last Monday I was looking for, you know, uh, like holidays or interesting things that I can bring up. And I was like, wow, uh, nothing is happening. To, and I recorded it at like, uh, I think three in the morning. And I was like, wow, this is just, this is boring day. It's national boring day. And of course, later that day, um, Elon Musk bought Twitter. So, um, wow, look at today. It's. That day I didn't get a lot of money for no reason day. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm going to try. And by the way, you <laughs> I got piled on by Australians last Monday because I, I was like, well, nothing happened. It's boring day. And uh, about 25 Australians jump on me and they're like, it's Anzac Day, you dumbass. And I'm like, I, I didn't know. I'm sorry. I actually looked it up. I looked up holidays and uh, I don't know the site that I was looking at didn't mention Anzac Day, and uh, I apologize for that. I didn't know what Anzac Day was, and our Australian friends, they, I, I'm like, educate me, and they told me what it was all about, so even though it's late, happy late Anzac Day to our southern Australian friends. But that was past Mondays, and we're in this Monday. We gotta look ahead. We have to look right now, and then further ahead. So, let's take a look at your world. Uh, okay. Whoop, up, uh, whoop, up. Uh. <laughs> oh, nature's gonna eat you, though. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if they were enhanced stupid or not. I mean, when you think about it, you know, putt putt golf is it's already confusing enough. It's like you gotta hit this little ball, gotta hit it through a windmill and then it'll pull over this thing, through a waterfall, down this thing, and through into, into a little hole. Uh, why add being dizzy to that that's not gonna help especially when there are waterfalls and lakes and stuff around that was just it wasn't real nature but it it looked like nature and he could have got sucked in there in that little lake there and eaten by the fake crocodiles that that would have been terrible what are you... <laughs> no 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 it's making me laugh because it's just ow it's just <laughs> I don't know why that's hitting me so hard. Oh, man. No, it was just, a, a, I was, I don't know why he was doing it, but dude was hitting the explosion in his face and there was just, ow, like, like he got bit by a bug or something. Ow, and he ran, I, I don't know why I thought that was funny. It, it was for a moment, but uh, the moment has passed, I guess. Why do they got money hanging off? Well, <laughs> I've seen that way too much lately. Oh, to the god of thine cake, what hath we done? It's the delicious icing and nutritious bread thee we eat to keep us alive. And yet, despite thine delicate nature, we doth now use thee in which to plant our fucking face. I don't know why I've, I've been seeing that a lot lately. It's just people don't eat cakes anymore. They're just... <laughs> the only purpose cakes have, apparently, is to just plant somebody's face in it. it I, I, you know, you can't eat those. They are rather good. Spaceship man bad. Yeah, I know. That's, and that bastard, he bought Twitter, and then he said, oh, he said that from now on, when somebody says something that we disagree with, he will not block them. I don't know what kind of world we're going to live in when people can just say things that we disagree with. <laughs> Oh, damn! Well, um... That's a damn good question. I don't know the fucking answer to. <laughs> uh, 
But, well, uh, you know, this is why God created Motel 6. You know, your roof falls in and you know, pack up a little suitcase, move to a Motel 6 for a little while. You can, you can like live on snack food and eat buggles and soda pop and bring a can of Lysol. So when you find the dead heroin addict under the bed, you can at least keep that smelling kind of fresh so it won't drive you nuts for the rest of the week. Then you can go out and buy a couple of cases of cheap beer and sit on the bed and watch cable TV on the old tube television. That's what they're for. That's that's why Motel 6s are there. Sounds like a good time to me. Why is it... Oh, wait, they're going to prank him. They're pranking this guy. Oh. Okay, good prank. I like this prank. 10 out of 10 stars. Instead of having that actually happen to you, then just prank someone and make them think they did it, and then they'll be terrified to put VR on ever, ever again. Now, I mean, for serious though, that was, uh, that, that was, a, <laughs> that was a rather clever joke. I, I, I like that one. Good, good prank. Good one. Oops. Oh, no, no. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, children, um, a little thing to tell you, um, younger people, and I'm not saying this to try and make fun of you or call you stupid. I'm not doing that right now. I just happen to know that adults and parents don't teach kids what we they used to teach us when I was growing up, and maybe one of the things that they did not teach you, just in case you didn't know, do not dump water on an oil fire. Don't do that because then it will explode and you're gonna have to sit there with a sponge and wipe all the black off of your walls for the next two weeks. Just, I'm, I'm just saying, maybe, maybe nobody's told you that. Don't throw water on an oil fire and don't throw it on an electrical fire either. Neither one of those, do not do it. Um, no, and no, nope. Zero points! Zero points! No, no, zero point. no, we're not, we're not doing that. I told you in the last episode, unless we actually take something else out, doesn't matter if they fall, that's zero points. You get nothing for that, okay? Nothing. Zero. Ah. Oh, okay, another one. Oh, wait, wait, whoa! Oh, hold up. Hold up! Okay, let me, wait, let me watch, let me watch now. What? Okay, whoa! Okay, wait, wait. Okay, he took out a phone and I think a laptop. Boom. Yes! He took out a phone and a laptop. Okay, a uh, phone. That's what, about uh, five, oh, you know, six, seven hundred dollars. A laptop could be what? A thousand, twelve hundred dollars? That's, uh, could be around. Nearly $2,000 of equipment and uh, personal stuff on there that you're not going to get back because of photos and things like that. Okay, uh, 30 points. 30 points for that. That wasn't bad. That wasn't. Now, if, if if he'd taken those out and then brained a child, well, then we'd be talking about like, you know, 60, maybe 70 points for that. But right now, yeah, we're, we're, we're talking about 30, 30, yeah, about 30 points. Uh. <laughs> oh, you okay, Pop? What? what? <laughs> yeah, I grew up in the South and I remember these rituals. Thank you, nature, for the crops and for our dogs and for our health. Here, have a fresh child. <laughs> well, I mean, I see accidents where, you know, children get knocked or fall down or whatever. That's, that's funny enough, but when somebody just literally spikes their child into the ah gotta love it okay places people hear classical music opera symphony radio elevators looney tunes you know i know this is a little joke graph i'm i doubt anybody actually went out there and studied this but i i would i would like to make a bet on how accurate this really is i mean this seems right it's most of the time when you hear uh classical music it's in some old cartoon somewhere, or in elevators. Nobody listens to radio anymore. And how many, really, how many people go to the symphony anymore? I mean, really. 
or or an opera. We nobody really does that anymore. So yeah, it's just I would bet that if they did a real study, this would be really close to true. And if you watch the old Tom and Jerry's, that's where you're gonna hear most of your 40s swing. The entire soundtrack in Tom and Jerry, 40s swing. Love it. Awesome. Slow down, slow. Slow, Roy. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> well, Roy, oh Roy, you, you woke up on Monday and you were thinking, hey, I get to borrow my buddy's car today, and uh, you didn't think that by the end of the day you'd owe somebody a fucking car, did you? But hey, that's the way Monday works. Hi, feeling good this morning? Great, tonight you're gonna owe somebody a car and fuck you. That's, what are you gonna do? Uh, <laughs> oh no, you're not. Oh. oh, don't don't tell me you're gonna actually put that back. Oh, what are you doing? Oh no, whoa, whoa, wait. Why are you shaking your head? Is it because it tastes bad or because you're disappointed in yourself? What? Well, uh, well, don't eat. No, no. What? Oh my God. Don't do that. What are you? Wow. Mm oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm gonna sound a little bit crazy right now, but I kind of know exactly what she was doing. Now I've done the same thing before myself. It's it, it it wasn't the fact that she was eating cake off the street, which is nasty. Don't do that. Why would you? Oh my God. What she was doing was saying, you know what, Monday? You know what accident? You know what Earth? You know what bad luck to just cause this? I am not gonna let you take away from me. I'm gonna enjoy this cake anyway. I'm gonna do it right here in front of everybody. You are not going to mess up my day. As, <laughs> as disgusting as it was, I, I know that's what she was doing. She was just making sure that that little accident, that little bit of bullshit was not going to own her day. And you know what? Good on her, amen for that. <laughs> well, um, I don't know. I couldn't that be a compliment in a way? You know, it's like, uh, hey, girl, your ass is so nasty, it belongs in the trash. It, oh, no, never mind. No, no. I, I thought, thought maybe that would sound like a compliment. It doesn't. I apologize. I'm sorry. Don't beat me. Husband, I think I'm having a heart attack. Wife, okay, honey, give me the password to your phone so I can call an ambulance. Husband, never mind. I'm feeling better. Uh, yeah, you you won't get. Uh, sorry, ladies, you're you're not gonna get the password to your husband's phone. He will fall over dead first. Uh, that uh, I, not saying I approve of it. I'm just saying that's the way it is. Believe me, they do not want you to see the websites they've been looking at. They'd rather die and go to hell first, and they will. God, trust me. Hey, can you please fucking stop that? You're getting my girlfriend wet. Ooh, oh, okay, that, that was the end of that conversation. What else are you gonna say? She just shut you down, boy, oh my God. Oh, Whew. that was good, good, good one. Oh my God, I wanna tip her. I wasn't even eating there and I wanna tip her just for watching that. That was amazing, loved it. Oh, this doesn't work on, that doesn't work on dogs. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Apparently, if you do it like that, it works just fine. Oh God, girl, were you were you were you trying to clip into the back rooms? What? <laughs> what? Oh man. Oh wow. Okay. 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 <laughs> I I just I think that from now on. I think that's exactly how that trick should go. Everybody from now on, when you do that trick on your animal and try and fool them, just smash into a wall and um, uh, and it'll work apparently. A 
Okay, you know, sometimes sometimes we make fun of each other. Countries that are, you know, in the Western world will make fun of Canada. Canada will make fun of, you know, Britain. Britain will make fun of Germany. We do that kind of thing a lot. But there's a certain point where it just, you have to embrace them and say, look, nobody under any circumstances deserves that level of humiliation ever. I mean, dude, oh, God, he was singing the national anthem to his country. And he, he, he falls over doing it in the middle of an arena. No, nobody. Humiliation that deep should just be, it should be illegal. Should not happen. So officially, my, my thoughts go out to this person, his family, and everybody that this affected negatively. Holy crap. I, oh, man. That, that was, uh, this is turning into a try not to cringe video, isn't it? Wait up. Whoa. Jeez, whoa. Hey, hey. Hold up, hold up. Midget wrestling, is there such a thing as midget wrestling? Oh, please, God, tell me that's a thing. Please! I have not, okay, the, the whole wrestling thing with the people, oh, who kicked the ass? Oh, but I've never been into that. I never, I thought that was stupid. I was never into it, even though I had a lot of friends who were into it. If there is midget wrestling, ah, instant fan. You have an instant fan. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna find out. If midget wrestling is a thing, you all won't see me again. I'm just going to be watching midget wrestling for the rest of my damn life. The IRS, when you fuck up your taxes, the IRS, when they fuck up your taxes. Every year, and they do this every single year. It's And it, it's exact. You owe us $38. We, when you better pay or we're going to, oh, wait, we, we owe you $1,200. Oh my God. We're so sorry. It, isn't it? It's like that every time. Every time. Ah. One reason I hate April. Oh. <laughs> okay. Damn. Whew. I know what happened. I know exactly what happened. No, I know. I know exactly what happened to this dude. This is why you do not insult birds. Okay, that's why you don't do it. This whoever owned that car. Was some crow came by and picked a piece of garbage up and he's like, Damn you, crow! And that crow went and sat in a tree and went, Bitch, you just wait. You wait till tonight. I'm gonna call me and my 1,200 friends and we're gonna come over here and take a big old duke all over your Mercedes. That's what we're gonna do. You don't think that was planned? I mean, look at it. There was no poop anywhere else except for on top of that single car. You know they did it on purpose. You don't insult birds. It's just a rule now. You understand? Or we will mess up your car. Sir, why are you still looking at me? No, it's not enough, sir. Look at the ground. Yes, sir. Hey, look up. Yes, sir. Look at the ground. Yes, sir. Look up. Yes, sir. Look at your own face. <laughs> you know, the title there said the man lagged out. I think they're misunderstanding this. He did that perfectly. You notice how he just froze? You know why he did that? So when the guy says, what are you doing? The guy can say, I'm looking at my own face, sir. See what they want to do, and I, I know this, but I know this. See, when they say something like that, they want you to laugh because, oh, if you do that, then they are going to bend you over and molest you with a Jeep. All right, that's what they want. They want to say, oh, do you think I'm a comic? They want you to go crazy. So he just froze. He actually handled that well because now when they say, what are you doing? I'm staring at my own face, sir. That perfect, he nailed it. Good job, it's gonna be a good soldier. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Well, you just gave your shoe to nature. Some squirrel's gonna wander back to her family and with a big old shoe on one foot. Guess what? Fell out of the mountains today. Is this stylish or what? Does it make my butt look bad? You just you just gave a shoe to nature. And I'm I'm sure it will uh it will use it to the best of its ability. And if you wanna use that last few bucks you've got laying around to the best of its ability. Patreon.com slash Ranting Griffin. Send it to me. I mean, I need it. This is what... I'm not doing this to... I mean, I'm not, like, hoarding up a bunch of money and buying myself a bunch of fancy stuff. I, it, it goes to me, and then I give it to rent. And I go to the store, and I buy food. That's what I do with it. So if you got a couple of it lay... A couple extra bucks laying around, uh, if you send it to me, you can be damn sure it's going to go to probably... Some macaroni and cheese, ham sandwiches. It might go to coffee. And, you know, nothing wrong with buying me some more coffee. It, it gets me all jittery, and you guys love that. 
And another thing that you're going to love is the rest of the week. It's Monday. We're already going. We're already in the middle of it. You can't back out now. So you know what? Put your eyes on forward. Get going. Stand up. Move forward. We Oh, we got to do the Monday dance. I forgot to do that. Plow through this Monday. Do the best you can. Be the best you can be. It's in your head. I know. You're sitting there thinking of it right now. You're thinking of the best thing that you've ever done. And you're like, I could do that again. Of course you can. Of course you can. You can do it every day. And you can do it today. That's what I want. I want the best from you guys you can possibly do so you'll feel good at the end of the day. And you will just clean up the rest of this week. That was a look at your world. And I will see you again next Monday.